Collective Sentiment Index, its application in the real world and its relevance in the Forex market. What is SSI? The Speculative Sentiment Index is the accumulated data from real-time retail traders all around the world with their position held in the market. Note held is the key, since typically speaking, retail hold on to their losses and as soon as they earn profit, they quickly take profit. Because of this logic, it is a very reliable leading and highly predictive indicator because we know that they hold on to losses and so where's price going to go? It's going to come and take their stops. At the end of the day, it just wants their stops. And um, we'll see how um, price is completely inverted uh, in its correlation uh, with the retail sentiment. So it's very, very interesting. I'll show you a Euro USD chart in, uh, I think, three frame, uh, slides. Okay, so how to use SSI for your trading? Now, this is the static uh, view of the SSI of sentiment. It doesn't tell us a great deal because it's just frozen in time. It's just a photograph. Okay, it tells us that the USD is a buy, but it, we need to see where it's going to go over time to confirm that bias. Okay, so if it comes away this way, then it's become more of a buy. If it goes this way, it becomes more of a sell. All right, so this is the static view. It is powerful. But we want to see what the what the herd are doing in real time, and that's what we do at Quasi DB. Um, let's use Euro USD as an example. We closed we closed Friday with a value of minus three point two seven, which means for every one person buying this pair, three point two seven people were short. Okay, so that's obviously uh, leaning towards uh, bullish bias because we know that retail often wrong. Let's go back to May 2020 when Euro USD SSI was at zero. It was at this point where the majority of dumb money didn't really know whether or not to buy or sell and they hadn't really invested financially on their position and bias. So this is um, this is when the SSI crossed over the neutral line and that was in May. That candle low was 108.04. And I look where we are today, or so I say last week at the close. And um, so it just goes to show how price is convert, uh, co correlated inversely with uh, retail herd sentiment. Now, ironically, fundamental forces came into play because we had the coronavirus and we had the stimulus bill and we had the ECB uh, pet package as well. Um, so if we can examine the SSI, we know we will always know if we're on the right side of the trade. And you might not have a, an idea if you're trading if you're actually on the right direction, you're not really sure is this actually a buy or is this actually actually a sell. You don't know, but this will tell you with 80% probability. This will tell you that you're on the right track, and this is why we're so successful in the service. Okay, so when the our bias, our bias, the quasi DB guys and you guys um, will only change when the SSI crosses the zero value. At the moment, it doesn't look like the euro usd is going to come anywhere close to that 50 percent line they're holding on and so by holding on it pushes price up because at the end of the day um forex market could just be liquidity hunts and stop hunts and they've held on for the whole time um it's just ridiculous really it just coincided with all this fundamental forces and don't forget with the fed emergency rate cut as well but yet they held on and by looking at SSI, you'd know to get out and you wouldn't have just got completely burnt on that move. You would have got out at a loss and then you would have just gone long because of this. And that's absolutely paramount that you understand that this is the static and why you'd want to look at this SSI at a static level. However, there's uh, two aspects to sentiment analysis. There's the static and then there's the dynamic. We want the confirmation over time, ideally. Um, so there are forces of attraction, there's gravitational forces acting on the market like stop loss clusters and things like that. Um, but we do need to observe the shift in the course time to confirm the bias. And the dynamic movement is absolutely key to understand. If the euro USD number moves away from the zero line, it becomes, uh, it becomes a greater buy over time. This is confirmation. If it comes this way, it's going to become more of a buy. All right, that's it. It's fairly easy. That's if it's already a buy and it becomes more of a buy, then that's just a tick in the box, a tick in the box. And then you'd obviously want to do your technical analysis and your risk management. That's about it, really. Um, so if we open um, on New York on Monday and the SSI has got um, away from the zero line, 
it tells us that the herd are not only already short, but they're adding short. So what's going to happen to price? It's going to come up because it wants to take their liquidity. <laughs> right? So that's the dynamic analysis. So that's key. And hopefully that makes sense. You just want confirmation over time. And don't forget to get the FXCM um, trading station. I can't believe it's free. It's absolutely amazing. And so um, what we do want to pay attention to, especially if we're into inter day trading, and um, we want we don't really want to see uh, this happen, where it's a uh, disqualification of the statics. At a static level, it's a buy, but if it's moving away this way, then it becomes a greater sell. Especially if that number really, really shifts towards zero, then we can expect price to fall. Okay. The reason for it is that um, we open New York on Monday and the SSI is minus three or minus 2.5 or even two, minus two. It tells us while the herd and that short, they're starting to go long. If they start to go long, then that's, that's uh, a bit of a worry. Okay. And this would be typically bearish behavior. Luckily, we have a robot EA that executes trades for us based on the herd behavior. So we don't have to constantly monitor the constant fluctuations. This will constantly be in flux. If you watch it, it will go this way, and then it'll come this way, and it'll come this way, and it'll come that way. But ideally, you just want to see big shifts. And if it has a big shift this way, we can expect this to fall. Because the movement across time is more powerful than the static. Where the retail herd go, where they decide to go, is more powerful than where they are now. Because um, they they move you know, as, as a big pack. And when they come with a, with a big pack, then they'll have their stops. And obviously, the you know the price goes to take their stops. So um, the dynamic shifting is um, key, and hopefully the logic is clear. Remember, the forex market is dynamically shifting 24/5 from a Sunday open to Friday close. So you do need to be one step ahead of everyone else, and SSI gives you that ability. Now, you can't really stare at the SSI all day. And so this is why we're developing a robot that's going to execute trades for us based on retail herd behavior. And we're week two of the testing. And so far, it's going pretty good. And it's using very uh, sound logic in that the retail are their human and humans error. And so that's the logic. And uh, obviously, we'd capture this move. If it did shift in a big way, we would capture that trade and then we would, you know, be in profit. So that's, that's the dynamic analysis. So this would be the agreement of the dyna dynamic and static. This would be like a disharmony of the static and the dynamic. So I think we might be seeing this on Monday. Potentially we see that these guys, the Rital Herd, they might be going long. If they do, we can expect price to fall. Okay. Allow me to show you what happened with the S&P 500 during the COVID-19 pandemic. It devastated the Rital Herd. This is a, uh, the end of a nine-year bull run. Everyone's really happy, and we see how um, you see on this SSI they're starting to go long, but yet um, price was falling. And then the, the, the China news probably happened about here in the Wuhan, and it started to spook the markets. But nevertheless, at this point here, they went long, and they went so long it, it flipped over the 50%. And then it would have triggered a lot of alarm bells for the big fish because the retailer are normally wrong with 80% probability. It would be time to take profit if you were smart, okay? Because the dumb money are going long. And they actually flipped it. And the thing is that they've been conditioned to buy the dip for nine years. <laughs> it's just a long time that they got conditioned. It's like Pavlov's, Pavlov's dog. Every time it fell, they just bought the dip and then they profited. So they tried it here but it failed and they tried it again and then it failed and they tried it one more time and then they just thought, oh, absolutely sod this. I'm not going to uh, attempt to buy it anymore. It has to be, it's got to be falling. And uh, what would have happened here that they would have read some news event and it would have just cemented their fear and they just added to their despair. So what they did at this point, they sold as a collective herd, they sold. At this point, we can even see on the on the actual like the candle. So they've been stopped up so many times over the short period. Uh, they decided collectively to sell. And so what happened when they when the SSI flipped to 50 percent and it crossed over. They held. And then they held, but they added short. 
and then I added short, and then short, and short, less short, less, then more. So it never did flip to 50%. I think every time it gets close, some scary news event occurs, and so it causes them to sell. And you'll see how if you were to get the FXCM trading station, just mark these levels, and then check on your uh, Google, do a uh, search for a news event on that particular day, and you'd see what would happen. No doubt something very scary would have happened at that point. And then what happens? It comes up. So they want you to be fearful in order to take your stops. And that's the key, right? But they held on to their short bias. Why? Well, logically, things should be falling, right? We had the coronavirus and the supply and demand, uh, the supply chain issues. But we have seen that using logic in such a way results in losses, especially if you're not actively watching SSI. So um, logical trader got destroyed. And then a uh, logical trader then uh, decided to sell, but he got trapped. And so he came up and he rather like crazy. And up he went, right? Fear and worry was encouraged in every form of media. This is just a demonstration of what's happening or what had happened in 2020. And now this is how scared you should be of the coronavirus and it's possible new strain. If you are fit and healthy with no underlying respiratory conditions, you should be about here. You know, you should, be, you should be worried, but not in a state of panic, right? And how scared they want you to feel, even if you are fit and healthy, here. They want you at breaking point. Now, I don't know why you would want it. Maybe they'd lost control of, uh, of the populace. Maybe there was too many riots. Maybe they didn't like what's happening with the, you know, the climate change thing. I don't know. But whatever happened, this is what's happening on the collective mindset, especially if you go on social media. And um, I was thinking about actually blocking some uh, some accounts that I follow just because of this. There's no rational explanation to be that scared, but they want you in a constant state of fear. And um, it harks back to the video that I made earlier on in the year and why they'd want you to be fearful. It's because they want to take your stops and they want to punish you. And, uh, you know, it's a liquidity probe. Now, assuming fear is going to persist in social media, we can expect to see further gains in the stock market. Now, watching SSI or by subscribing to the QuasiDB service, you will know on a daily bulletin that I produce every day when the buyer starts to teeter. So we look at SSI on average across the week and its movement across time. And the dynamic shift across time is the key. And we'll know when the next uh, big decline happens by examining the SSI on our daily bulletin. So it's just one reason to sign up to the service. You'll have a big heads up of the next big decline. And just to say thank you for watching, it's a 30 minute video. There's my Patreon there and um, fxsi.com plan. Yeah, there is a promo code that you can use that would, um, it, you know, it gives you a humongous discount. You can do that. Um, I do recommend the FX SSI suite, they're all absolutely amazing. I also 100% recommend the FX CN trading station as well. So just scroll up on the, the feed and you'll see the link and the download guide. and um, just download it and have a look at it at least once a day and then you can at least you know that you're on the right side of the trade and that's that's the key to trading you want to make sure that your bias is true and um, yeah hopefully it helps and have a good christmas everybody and i'll speak to you um probably next week i guess yeah and i'll uh, have a good one i'll speak to you later